Hey guys, so I asked you if you guys wanted to see a swatch and comparison of all three glow kits by Anastasia Beverly Hills and so many of you said yes, so that's what I'm here to do for you guys today. So I'm going to show you the swatches, talk a little bit about them, my reviews on them, and also I'm going to tell you which one's my favorite out of all three and how I apply my favorite palette on my cheeks to get this insane glow. So my glow is thanks to one of these palettes. So if you guys want to stick around to see the comparison and the swatches and how I apply my favorite palette on my face, then just keep on watching. So the first palette that I'm going to swatch is this one, and this is the That Glow Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is what it looks like inside. So now I'll show you the swatches of them and describe each shadow for you guys. So the first one is Sunburst. It is a bright, luminous gold with a metallic finish. The next highlighter is Golden Bronze. It is a sultry, warm bronze with a gold-flecked finish. The next highlighter is Bubbly. It is a rose champagne with a pearlescent finish. And the last one in this palette is Dripping in Gold. It is a lavish gold with a vivid reflective finish. So I absolutely love, for some reason, the name Dripping in Gold. I feel like when I'm having highlighter on, like I wanna be dripping in gold in highlighter, right? <laughs> the name is just so cool. I think that this palette is absolutely beautiful. You could definitely wear this over that contour area or over a little bit on your cheeks to really give you that glowy, bronzy look. And then I think these three shades would be great as highlighters. So I think I absolutely love this shade, this palette. Um, it was definitely my favorite between these two when they just came out. So I loved that glow one when they just came out. This one in particular was my absolute favorite. I loved applying this one on the cheekbone and then applying sunburst right at the high point of my cheek to really give me that beaming highlight and now the next one is the gleam glow kit and this is what it looks like inside so my thoughts on this one when i just got it i was like whoa it's very pink and i mean as you can see it's definitely much more pink than the other two so now let me show you the swatches so the first one is hard candy it is a mood changing golden peach with a pink pearl reflective finish the next one is mimosa it is a radiant golden peach with a metallic finish. The next is Starburst. It is a rush of cool pink with an iridescent finish. And the last one in this palette is Crushed Pearl. It is a glimmering pink and silver with a crystallized chrome finish. So I think this one's so cool. I think these three are actually great blush toppers. So I think this one's really cool because it's also like sort of dual chrome. So it does look really cool over the entire cheek area. I absolutely love this one over the cheek. What I'll do is I take a fluffy brush, like the Real Techniques blush brush, which is right here, like something like this, tap that in there and then just lightly dust it over your blush. And I think that's gonna look great. Or you can even use this instead of a blush. This one is a great, great highlighter. But for some reason, for me, I don't know why this looks very ashy on me. When I would apply it, it would look really white and gray on my cheeks. So either maybe you have to be really pale or you have to have a really light complexion to... I mean, I'm super pale, but it still looks a little bit ashy on me. So I think this is going to be a great sort of blush topper if you really want that highlighted apple of the cheek area. I think this is going to be a great palette for you. And then lastly is this Sun Dipped Glow Kit, and this is what it looks like inside. <sighs> yes, this has to be my favorite glow kit. This one is my baby. I'm telling you, I absolutely love this one. I think it is so great. The range of highlighters is amazing. I love the undertones. I think it is absolutely amazing. So let me show you now the swatches. The first one is Bronzed. It is an amber with a penny metal finish. The next is Tourmaline. It is a warm taupe with a rose gold finish. Then now is Moonstone. It is a radiant quartz with a pearl finish. And lastly in this palette is Summer. It is a luminous sand with a white gold finish. So the sun dipped one is definitely my favorite out of all three. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love that it's not too yellow. So as you can see, compared to that glow kit, it is definitely much more cooler than this one this one is much more warmer and bronzy but this one is a little bit cooler i actually love that this one has two highlighter shades even though these do also but these two are more like beaming highlighters when you apply on your cheeks so that is all the swatches and comparisons and reviews on the glow kits i think they're all beautiful but if you really want that bronzy glowy highlighted cheek area I think the sun dipped one is for you and this one was also made for deeper complexions but I'm 
pretty pale and it does work great on my skin tone so I think this is gonna be a great pa palette all around so now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply my favorite glow kit I love it it's my baby so I'm gonna show you guys how I apply this on my cheeks so since the sun dip glow kit is my favorite I decided that I wanted to show you step by step how I would use this palette to really give me that summertime glowy cheek area I did do a Instagram video just a little one of how I would use this palette but I wanted to give you something a little bit more in depth and step by step so what I'm actually gonna do is use all four highlighters on my cheeks so that might seem like a lot but trust me it's gonna really give you that nice glowy look so actually the brush that I like to use with these two highlighters is this real techniques blush brush and I really like how soft and fluffy and blendable it is and it just doesn't pick up too much product because it's not dense it's really fluffy so I'm actually gonna go into bronzed first so what I like to do is I tap it in there three times tap that brush off and then right over my contour so I do have my contour and blush on so I'll go right over my contour and then around my hairline and that'll just give you that bronzy cheek area and then I'll take that same brush and I'll dip it once or twice into tourmalin and then tap that off again and go right over my blush it doesn't look like it'd be good over your blush but for some reason when you apply this over your blush it does give you that really nice pink flush and nice highlighted cheek area I don't know I didn't think it would look good but it's scary right here, but it looks great over the cheek. And you can see just applying that over the cheek, you instantly get this nice glow on the apple of your cheek, which I think looks really, really, really pretty. So then for the highlighting shades, I'm going to pick up Summer and Moonstone. I like to use both of them. I think I get like that most beaming, beautiful glow with mixing both of these. And the brush to get that insane glow is this Sigma F03 High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. Guys, go get this right now. I have a link down below and a coupon code if you guys want to get this brush, but if you don't, you don't have to. You can use any brush, obviously, but I absolutely love this brush. It really is great to pack on that highlighter and you get that insane glow, so you'll see what I'm talking about. So what I do is I actually go three times in here, three times in there, tap it off, and then... Um, hello, do you see this? And I like to bring that up just a little bit on the temple and then on the cheek, apple of the cheek. Yes, 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 yes. This brush with this palette, dead. <laughs> So that is it. That is all the palettes swatched and reviewed and I showed you my favorite palette which is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I showed you how I applied it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and if you guys want to get it I'll have links down below to all the palettes if you guys want to get your hands on them. I think they're so cool. I think that it's amazing for the price that you get four highlighting shades in there and they're really versatile. You can really play around with them. You can even use them, some of them as shadows or either inner corner highlights or brow bone highlights. I applied one of them on my lips today just to really give that full metallic-y pout. So yeah, if you guys also want a tutorial on this look, let me know and I got you. So I think that should be it. If you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, and Instagram, and Twitter, that'll be right here as well as down the description box and I'll have a list of all the things that I swatched today. All the palettes down below if you guys want to check <clears throat> excuse me like the demon was coming out of me <laughs> if you guys want to check that out and I think that should be it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye